Hello, internet friends and family. Welcome back to Starkey Forensics. My name is Samantha, and I have some very interesting information for you guys today. So a lot of people keep trying to tell me that geo geoengineering, climate geoengineering, solar geoengineering isn't real. But I'm here to prove something to you guys. Do you see that? Those, my friend, are from planes and no... They are not trails left over from the plane being in the sky. Those are chemicals they're dispersing in the sky. Now, you may ask me, well, how do you know that, Sam? I know that because Sam likes to study. It would look something like this. Thousands of planes would fly very high and use nozzles to inject millions of tons of light-reflecting particles into the stratosphere. It would create a thin chemical cloud of those particles around the whole planet, blocking some sunlight from reaching the surface. It would mimic a giant volcanic eruption, which we know cools the Earth. Back in 1991, Mount Pinatubo erupted in the Philippines. It was the largest eruption to affect a densely populated area, creating avalanches and giant mud flows that left more... Have you seen this series, Snowpiercer? Let me tell you guys something. If we aren't careful, we're fixing to be living like that. Because the mad scientists are having a bit too much fun on taxpayer money. And this video is going to prove everything I just said. First, let's start with what I personally found to be the creepiest video I've ever seen on YouTube. Let's just start there. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Hello, Mr. Gates. You know us, but we know you. You've done more for mankind than most can ever dream of. Touching countless lives. Donating billions. To make a real difference in the world. But now, Bill. We need you. We need you. We need you. We need you to lead us in another fight. The fight against climate change. It's the 21st century's biggest risk to the Earth's poorest nations. You said that, Bill. And we agree. But the Gates Foundation invests in fossil fuel exploration. In companies that continue to look for more coal, oil, and gas. Fossil, fossil fuels, fuels we can't, can't afford to burn. burn. Here's how you can help us, Bill. Help us by no longer supporting these energy companies. By divesting your interests in fossil fuels. Withdraw this funding. And the planet will, will profit. profit. Keep leading the fight against climate change. Keep protecting the Earth. And its people. And Bill. Bill. We're, We're asking you. you. We're asking you. Please. 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 Keep it. So that is called a CIA NK Ultra mind control brainwashing video. It's a psyop. It's a red flag. It's paid actors because the normal people in the world don't want this to happen. That is part of the mechanism, but you do this in a controlled way. Modeling studies have found that it could reduce the intensity of heat waves, for instance. It, it, apparently it could reduce the rate of sea level rise. It could reduce the intensity of tropical storms. But it also comes with significant risks and uncertainties. Things like mass famine, mass flooding, drought, of kinds that will affect very large populations. It could weaken monsoons in India, China, and Africa enough to affect crops. It could eradicate blue sky. You start increasing the amount of diffuse light and you have less direct light, which is the same thing as saying it looks hazy and white. And if the global community decides it should stop? So you stop injecting it and after a year, the cloud is gone. You get this rapid warming at a rate much faster than you would get if we had done nothing. If you've taken out the greenhouse gases that are adding to the warming, then it will the temperature won't go up. It'll stay what it is. This so, next video I'm going to show you, they are going to admit that they don't really know what's going to happen when they started this in 2019. We're in 2025, you guys. Biden and Harris signed millions of dollars in legislation for Bill Gates to continue solar geoengineering. Now I know that it's hard for most people to wrap their minds around, but this is what you call a mad scientist, folks. The information's out there. If you're not willing to understand it or even listen to it, that's on you. That is on you. Stay ignorant. I'm okay with that. But for the rest of us, we want it to stop. This is not normal in Southeast Louisiana. And I don't want to hear this happened in the late 1800s 
and that proves climate change. It most definitely does not. It proves that there was once a hole in the ozone. When that didn't work, it went to we're all going to be froze to death by the year 2000. Then we had the Y2K. Then we had climate change. No, global warming. And because that, nobody would buy that. They simply just rebrand it again. They have been rebranding since the 1970s to get control of us through carbon credits and other such nonsense. This is how they're going to finish taking the world's prosperity, folks, and making us all slaves to the machine. This is it. What they're doing in the sky above me today, two days after one of the worst snowstorms Louisiana has ever seen, they're climate geoengineering right above my head right now. Why? Because in a week and a half, we have another freeze coming and they want to make it worse because it's it, they're adding fuel to the flames of their narrative. They have to have extreme climate events to get the people that are sitting on the fence and the people that are eating the poison to continue funding and pushing for funding for this type of stuff. When Trump took us out of the Paris Climate Accords, I cried won't be able to reach agreement, we being the entire planet. And so there's the prospect that countries just go ahead and do solar geoengineering and that causes disagreement, conflict, tension, even possibly war. Three years ago, the international community did come together when almost 200 countries signed the Paris Agreement on Climate Change, agreeing to limit global temperature rise to less than 2 degrees Celsius. Since then, President Trump has stated his intent to withdraw from the agreement. The Paris Climate Accord is simply the latest example of Washington entering into an agreement that disadvantages the United States. Because there is somebody that understands what's really happening to us. He knows what they're doing. Can he stop it? I don't know. States have their own sovereign laws. You're going to have to start locally getting legislation passed. I keep telling you guys that. It's why we have to get this snow tested. So far, we've raised a little over $800, but the lady sent me a quote of 2,200, folks. It's going to take a little bit more, and we're going to get there. We're going to get there. I'm still taking prices today, calling. A lot of people gave me suggestions. I'm looking into everything because we have to get this snow tested. That's where we start. We start, we use their own game against them. We use their science against them, folks. My daddy used to always tell me, honey, sugar gets more flies than vinegar, right? And the squeaky wheel gets the grease. But you cannot fight your enemy until you understand the rules they play by. That is just a fact. Enjoy the rest of this video. I love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video. If you want to donate towards the snow testing, please do. I'll link it in the top of comments. You guys have a great day. I'm going to go live at some point today. I've got a whole bunch of stuff to share with you guys. Most of it has not got to do with climate. It's just got to do with what's going on with the world. But I will find it very interesting to share this information with you guys. Love you. Over climate change and big spending. $5 million from Leonardo DiCaprio, 10 million pounds from the UK. Meanwhile, Bill Gates is backing the first high altitude experiment of one radical climate change solution, creating a massive chemical cloud that could cool the earth. It's called solar geoengineering and it's highly controversial. How long will it be that countries keep experiencing these climate impacts before someone gets desperate and says, hey, we need to cool the planet with solar geoengineering? It would look something like this. Thousands of planes would fly very high and use nozzles to inject millions of tons of light reflecting particles into the stratosphere. It would create a thin chemical cloud of those particles around the whole planet, blocking some sunlight from reaching the surface. It would mimic a giant volcanic eruption, which we know cools the earth. Back in 1991, Mount Pinatubo erupted in the Philippines. It was the largest eruption to affect a densely populated area, creating avalanches and giant mud flows that left more than 700 dead and 30,000 homeless. It also spewed a cloud of 20 million tons of sulfur dioxide particles into the stratosphere. 
That chemical cloud was hundreds of miles across and reflected about 2% of sunlight back to space. And in 1992, the Earth was cooler than in 1991. That is part of the mechanism, but you do this in a controlled way. Modeling studies have found that it could reduce the intensity of heat waves, for instance. It, it, apparently it could reduce the rate of sea level rise. It could reduce the intensity of tropical storms. But it also comes with significant risks and uncertainties. Things like mass famine, mass flooding, drought, of kinds that will affect very large populations. It could weaken monsoons in India, China, and Africa enough to affect crops. It could eradicate blue sky. You start increasing the amount of diffuse light and you have less direct light, which is the same thing as saying it looks hazy and white. And if the global community decides it should stop? So you stop injecting it and after a year, the cloud is gone and you get this rapid warming at a rate much faster than you would get if we had done nothing. If you've taken out the greenhouse gases that are adding to the warming, then it will the temperature won't go up, it'll stay what it is. So if we don't stop emitting greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, we don't try as hard as we can to do that, then there's no point in doing solar geoengineering. A 2016 opinion poll conducted by the Harvard group doing solar geoengineering research found that 67% of subjects support its use. One reason this technology is appealing, it's cheap. One study estimates it would cost an average of 2.25 billion globally every year for the first 15 years of deployment. Compare that to the half a trillion dollars the US government estimates it will cost just the US by 2100 if no action is taken against climate change. Or the 1.6 to 3.8 trillion projected global spending by 2050 on low carbon energy production. You can also compare it to direct air carbon capturing, another climate change solution backed by Bill Gates and by big oil. It involves sucking billions of tons of carbon out of the air. And at $1 to $200 a ton, it could be big business. Solar geoengineering, on the other hand, is so cheap that nobody currently stands to make money from the process. $100 a ton, it could be big business. Solar geoengineering, on the other hand, is so cheap that nobody currently stands to make money from the process. But just because a solution is cheap doesn't make it, make it a good one. It's cheap and dangerous. It doesn't require a lot of materials. It doesn't require a big innovation. It basically affects the whole planet with one project. So that is not necessarily a situation that has a lot of profit opportunity, right? Because there's not going to be a lot of different people that can do it and compete in a marketplace. Bill Gates is among a dozen individual donors and 14 foundations backing the first stratospheric solar geoengineering experiment out of Harvard. It's called Stratospheric Controlled Perturbation Experiment, or SCOPEX. A high-altitude balloon will lift instruments about 20 kilometers into the stratosphere, where it will release less than 2 kilograms of different naturally occurring chemicals, like calcium carbonate and sulfates, and then measure the change in atmospheric chemistry and light scattering. The Harvard group that runs Scopex and other experiments has raised more than $16 million, more than double any other solar geoengineering effort. And annual global funding has gone up from $1 million in 2008 to $8 million in 2018.